Hey guys, Crash Course Altissery here. And what if the Seven Year War never happened? <laughs> but first, what was the Seven Year War? The war lasted between 1754 to 1763. Yes, that is a nine year time period, but that's when the first fighting started to happen, not the actual declaration of war. It was a war fought between one team, Britain, Portugal, and Prussia, against France, Austria, Sweden, Russia, and Spain. So the war was fought because of territorial disputes. For example, in North America, George Washington, you might know him by the way, he uh, led an assault on French forts in the Ohio Valley that were building in an area where, mm, who knew who really owned it. The colonists wanted to move west to get more living space because in the 13 colonies, it was getting quite packed. Well, for 1756 population standards. On the other hand, in Europe, Prussia had just recently conquered Silesia in modern-day Poland, which was Austrian territory. So the end result of the war was a British victory. Hooray! So, what would the world look like if the Seven Year War never happened? For starters, let's talk about territory. North America would look very different, with Spain controlling Florida and France still controlling uh, French Louisiana and French Quebec. France would also keep their territory in West Africa and also in India. Now let's talk about the effects that wouldn't happen. First of all, the world would be very much more equal, as Britain would not be super superior over France from having all those colonies. Them dirty Brits, always taking everything. Also, since Britain didn't get the French Indian colonies, India would be very divided because it was the kicking out of France that led to the Britain's full control over India. France was devastated after the war and its economy was ruined with no sign of return. It was because of this economy struggle in France which led to the French revolutions. So, say goodbye to our main man, Napoleon, out here. Because of this, France would have stayed a monarchy. Sorry about this next one, Americans, but the Independence War was caused by the Seven Year War. Yes, Britain won the Seven Year War, but wars are never won without sacrificing money and manpower. After the war, Britain was put into deep debt after all the loans it had to pay back for the war. So what did Britain do to pay back the loans? They started to tax their colonies a ton. So say bye bye to that US Independence and that Tea Party, which I was never invited to, so... Sucks to suck. So in real life, when the UK lost the 13 colonies, they had to look elsewhere to recover their loss, like in places like India, Africa, Australia, and New Zealand, to get more colonies there. But in our situation, where the Seven Year War never happened, they would have had more focus on North America, and all that colonization would not happen to the same extent because they would have been putting most of their focus into North America, which is where all that dough was coming from. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. What if in another timeline, the Kaiser won World War I? World War I was called the War to End All Wars, and it was true in a sense that it was the last time European monarchies and European ideas fought, and the victor decided the new ideas for the new era, and it set up for the next war. What? What's that? Oh, it's time for the open letter? Quick open letter to world leaders. So many wars could have been won if you would have just used strategy instead of emotions. For example, in World War II, when the Brits bombed Berlin, Adolf switched all of his planes to bomb London instead of bombing the airfields, which let the Royal Air Force build up their air force again. Now, I'm talking about this because Kaiser Wilhelm II mostly led through his generals, but when he did make military decisions, they were mostly through emotions. So in this timeline, the way that Germany won World War I was by not invading Belgium. In real life, invading Belgium was a very bad idea because it brought Britain into the war and made France a 2v1 fight. France did not have the power or population to hold off a German offensive. So in this plan, Germany would focus all of its troops on the Eastern Front and take out Russia and then move all of its troops back to the Western Front and quickly take out France. Britain not being in the war because Germany did not invade Belgium would quickly join the war as Germany was becoming too powerful over mainland Europe. But by then it'd be too late and France would have already surrendered. They would then sign a treaty to take the Baltics, Poland, and Ukraine as puppet states for Germany. Germany would then do a reverse treaty of Versailles, enacting the same economic issues that the Allies did to Germany in our timeline. 
Because this is the second time France has lost to Germany, and now because of the economic turmoil, France will likely go into civil wars and most likely become socialist. Germany wanting to be a big boy and wanting to be like the other European empires that had tons of colonies would most likely take colonies from France and Britain and they would form something called Mittelafrika. Since the US never joined the war, the huge German population in the United States would cause a huge influence on American culture. In real life, the United States joined the war, causing many German Americans to get harassed and humiliated, causing them to throw out their heritage. Because of this German win, it would lead the way for the 20th century to be a German century instead of an allied slash United States one. This win by Germany let the world know that monarchies were still relevant and it would cause a huge ideology shift as World War I did in our timeline. This war decided who would rule this century and if Germany won then we would live in a very different world today because the Nazis wouldn't have existed and things like the Pakistan and Israel war would never have happened because the Jews would have never had a reason to leave Europe. Also in this war there would no longer be a cold war because of Russia and the US not being as powerful as they would have been. Also since there never being a cold war we might have never made it to space or had GPS's. But all in all today the world would be very German centralized just as the US is in our timeline. Thanks for watching Crash Course Alt History. The show is produced by, well, everything's done by me. And as they say in my hometown, Constantinople was taken, Byzantines were hating, Istanbul it was their haven, yeah, Europe was shaken.